bud. Hello. You might be wondering why my hair looks like an absolute mess every single morning. Like it does right now. Um, there's a bit of a secret to making it look this messy. And um, I shall reveal that secret to you now. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Holy shit. But it works every single time. You wondering what the song is? It's Focus. That's the band. The song is called Hocus Pocus. It's an awesome band. Actually, it's a Dutch band. It's 12 ages old, but it sounds awesome. I don't think this song would work in the modern music industry. I mean, imagine trying to sell this idea of, uh, you know, a song. It's going to have yodeling, uh, a flute solo, and um, Popeye-ish tittering, an uh, accordion section, and um, non-existing lyrics. So fun, because it's so weird. Ah, ow. I do feel a bit like one of those um, wobbly head statues, or what the fuck they're called. You know, the things you get in your car where you have like, like a thing of a dog, and the dog just sitting like that in the car. I feel like that dog. Hello, chickens. What you screaming for? Ah, oh, look at them. Oh, <laughs> I have to say, it looks damn cute. So, the recordings of the TV show are over, and it was exciting. And I will show you when it airs. Well, I show the bits of it, if the copyright Nazis aren't all over it. Anyways, I just passed a, um, a shop where you can buy like a telephone, but you can also get your hair done. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's now 10 o'clock again, and I'm tired again. I really want to go back to sleep now, but unfortunately I've got stuff to do, so I'm going to go to sleep an hour later, 11 o'clock. But still, it's, it's, it's quite interesting, because normally... I'd, I could go on and on and on until like three in the morning and then go to bed and then I'll be fine. But now, since like yesterday, 10 o'clock is my max. I'm just like, 10 o'clock. Oh God, I don't know what I did. Maybe I made some children. I'm pretty sure I would notice that, yes. And I'm also pretty sure that if I had made children and they would get children, I would have noticed that as well, so. That's not it, I'm not an actual granddad, but I feel like one. I just went outside to see what's what with life and night, etc. And my, I, I saw a big friend. That's my big friend, the moon up there. Look at him. Look at him, he's shining big time. Look at that guy. The moon is big and bright, and it is just like a light. La 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 la, and then it went away. And there it is again. <laughs> I just realized that I am an idiot because I didn't tell you anything about the TV show. Like, what it was about. It's basically, um, think bigger. That's the theme. And, you know, big people, celebrities that have actually done something in their life. Aside from making just a sex tape, Chloe Kardashian. Um... Or oh, was it the other sister? This time it was um, the, uh, the the big boss of Bart's never-ending network. And that's just a broadcasting th th company in Holland that is um, part of the public service and is sort of um, aimed at young people like me. Um, so, But it was very inspiring because, well, it just was. It just was. So, whenever I go to one of these seminars of big important people, I still feel there is hope for me to achieve something in life, you know what I mean? Because, you know, with school I have to do lots and lots of things that are like, why am I even doing it? What, what's the freaking point? I'm doing it because I have to do it, not because I think I can actually do anything with it in life. So that was a big moment. I finally saw, well not finally, I once again saw something, hey, you can actually do something. 
you can actually do something in life. So it was real nice. But uh, I'm going to dream about that because I'm going to sleep now, okay? See you tomorrow. Peace out. See.